Hey everyone, it's John Pemphy here and welcome to this next lesson where I want to talk about the lessons that I've learned on my video marketing journey after spending well over seven figures of my own money promoting videos that promote my business, right? And I'm going to go ahead and walk you through what I've learned and how you can use simple videos that you've shot on your mobile phone to actually have some very effective ads for your marketing. We'll see you in a second. So what I've got pulled up on the screen here are just a few screenshots to show you uh, that we really are spending quite a lot of money, myself and my team. This is uh, Google and YouTube over here, uh, two of our different ad accounts, collectively about 300,000 uh, British pounds, about four, 450,000 US dollars. Uh, over here we've got another one of our big Facebook ad accounts that we've spent 412,000 uh, British pounds, about 600,000 US dollars. Over here, another 250 grand. You know, you get the idea. I've spent a ton of money on advertising, and there's a reason, right? It's a reason why you're watching this video, because you probably know that paid ads and video is so effective right now, but you've got to figure out how to do it properly. And I think something that get, a lot of people get hung up on is trying to do fancy pants videos like this, right? We're obviously here in the studio, we've got all this fancy pants gear and equipment set up. I do this because it's fun and I like it and I've got all this expensive equipment so I may as well make use of it, but you don't actually need it, right? You can actually just pick up your mobile phone and you can record a selfie video or you can get simple adapters and whatnot and sit on a tripod and literally talk to your phone. Like these things are getting so, uh, so much better now that, you know, I remember when I first started doing video marketing, I was recording everything on this, this little flip cam. I don't know if you, some of you remember those, right? Little cameras that had a USB that would flip out from the bottom. I used to record everything on there. In fact, I, bu I built my first million dollar uh, company and business on one of those cameras, right? And now everything's transitioned over to your phone. So you don't need all this fancy pants stuff. And, and that's one of the big things that I've learned after spending this much money is actually, if I've got a good message and I'm talking to the right audience at the right time, whether it's a fancy pants video like this or whether it's just on my iPhone, it doesn't really matter. It's about the message. And so what I've done is I've put together something that I've called my anti-lame checklist, right? If you follow this checklist, you will be able to record videos and video ads on your phone and they will not be lame and you can do it budget. I have no idea how, why or how I just turned my torch on. So let me, let me walk you through this, okay? We want to talk about how you can create super, super simple budget videos that will work great if you complete the anti-lame checklist. There's four steps, so let's just jump straight into this. All right, what does the lame stand for? Well, L stands for lighting, all right? It doesn't matter, you could have a great message talking to the, the right audience at the right time. If you have terrible lighting, it's gonna, that, that video is just not gonna perform well for you, right? If you're in a dark, dingy room, it's not gonna work. I remember having a client of mine wanted me to review uh, her video ad. So I said, oh yeah, let's you know, send it over, I'll have a look. And I, I watched this thing and it was literally, she was recording this video at 11 p.m. at night. It was totally dark. She had the main lights in her room turned off and she was recording this video ad on her webcam and pretty much just using the brightness from her laptop to light her face. Like it actually looked like borderline scary. You know what I mean? Like that, those, that's just not gonna work. And I, I had to give her that feedback and say, look, you've got to set up some nice lights or you've got to at least go for a walk uh, at, at daytime and, and use that natural light, okay? Another quick tip is, look, if you haven't got the budget to buy some fancy pants lights, go for a walk, go out and about, but you've got to do it when it's overcast, right? The best time to film your videos is actually when it's cloudy not when it's sunny. If it's sunny, you'll, you'll, have a, you'll have a bright face, everything will look, you know, it just won't look good, right? So go out when it's cloudy, that's the best time to record it. And if you're recording at home, make sure you're facing a window. Allow the natural light from the window to hit you dead on. If you are looking at your laptop or looking at, you know, whatever it is, your phone, and the window is here, you're gonna have a bright one side of your face and a completely dull shadow side on, on the other side. So just one thing to keep in mind, so that's, that's the L. All right, the next, and, and one thing that you can do actually is you can get one of these things, right? These little ring lights and you can essentially set it up on a, on a tripod and it will go around your phone or around your camera and again it will help give you that even light on your face, all right? And they're like 65 pounds, like 100 bucks on Amazon, okay? A stands for audio. Okay, again, you can't, you can't have one of these uh, or, or, or some of these without the other, right? You've got to have good lighting and you've also got to have good audio. Again, 
You could have great lighting, a great message, talking to the right audience at the right time. If they can't hear you clearly, if there's a big echo, or if there's just some kind of crackling in the voice, like it's gonna kill it. It will kill the video. Audio is so important, all right? So you've gotta get that right. And, and here's something very, very simple you can get started with. It's called a Rode Smart Lav Plus. All right, it's a little lavalier mic. It's like the one I'm, I'm wearing right now. We've got the expensive, you know, $2,000 mic setup. Um, but this is like 40 pounds, like 50 bucks on Amazon. And that'll essentially plug straight into your uh, iPhone or your phone or, or with a dongle if you've got the iPhone that I've got. And then you can get set up and you might want to get one of these. It's an, ex it's an extension cable um, to basically allow you to, because I think what comes with this is about a meter long. And that's not long enough, right? So you've got to have a bit of an extension. So that'd be an extra 15 bucks. So really inexpensive way to you know, improve the audio that's coming from your smartphone, all right? Um, the M stands for message, all right? You've got to have a good message in the video as well, right? So you, if you are fulfilling on these other things, great lighting, great audio, you're going to fulfill on the next thing I'm going to tell you, which is the E. If you do all of that, but your message sucks and you're talking to the wrong audience and, and not connecting with them, then that's going to just going to kill everything anyway, right? So I haven't got enough time to go into like actually teaching you scripts and templates and all that kind of stuff right now because that would take me a few hours. But you've got to make sure you're nailing down a good message. OK, and it really just comes down to understanding your audience. Who are you speaking to? You know, we've got to stop guessing what we think our audience, uh, you know, are, are, are interested in. And we've got to actually do our research on who is my audience? What are their pains? What are their desires? How could I speak to them in a way? How can I present a message to them on social media through this video that will connect with them and want them to move forward, right? Or encourage them to move forward. And then E stands for execution. All right, how are we executing on those three things? Good lighting, good audio, great. Now we've got a good message. How are we gonna execute on that? Here's a few tips, right? You've got to have high energy in your videos, okay? You can't be kind of, I don't know, your body language, you can't be down, you've got to have high energy. Use hand, in hand movements and all that good stuff. You've gotta be excited in your video. How can you expect your audience or your potential customers to get excited about what it is that you've got to offer if you're not exuding that excitement as well? All right, so you've got to act really excited. Next thing is exuding confidence and authority. Okay, how do you do that? Well, part of that's in your message. If you've got a strong message that, and, and you're delivering it in such a way where you just sound confident in your topic, that's really going to help. Okay, but you've got to exude that confidence and that, and that authority. Tonality is another one. Really simple one, but you've got to have your tonality going up and down. If you're doing your video and you're just talking like this and you're not really changing your tonality and everything you're saying is on the same tone, like you're going to lose their attention. The way you keep someone's attention is by going up and down and up and down and, and, and add that, couple that with being excited and that's really going to grab their attention and, and, and have them locked into your video, okay? Another thing is no long pauses. All right. If you're teaching something and you're in the middle of teaching something and, or, 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 or explaining something and you're doing a, an unnecessarily long pause, and maybe you've said something and now you're pausing to just kind of like get your next slide together or you're pausing to just think what you want to say or you're pausing because you genuinely have just run out of things to say. And you, like if you do pause, it's just it's going to kill it. You have to keep their attention, especially if we're using these videos as advertisements on YouTube and Facebook. People's attention span is very, very small. So as soon as you start pausing, you'll lose their attention. If you lose their attention, they're going to keep scrolling and you're gone. All right. So don't pause. And finally, no rambling. OK, don't ramble on about the same topic again and again and again. All right. Nail down your message. Make sure it's clear and concise and don't ramble and don't ramble at the beginning of your videos either. You know, I see people doing, you know, ads popping up on my social media. And I see them doing the video and they literally start the video by saying, hey, it's Jack here, just going for, you know, a, a walk in the park here with, with Buddy, my dog, and having a good time. The sun's shining, the birds are twerping, everything's great. But listen, if you've got this problem, you're like, they're not there anymore. They're not watching the video. You're about to get in to the topic of the video, but no one's watching the darn thing because they've left because you're talking about flipping birds and your dog. No one cares about that, right? People don't, <clears throat> excuse me. People don't care about you, they care about what you can do for them. So you have to, in the beginning of your videos, grab their attention straight away. All right? Don't ramble on about yourself and the walk you're doing in the park right now. They, they don't care. 
Okay, so don't ramble on about this stuff. And finally, just a, a quick random tip I wanted to throw in is how can you frame your videos? Quite simply, look, and if you don't want to do the whole walk and talk thing and you'd feel more comfortable getting it set up and use your hands, now you can get a simple tripod like this, right? You can get them for you know 25 pounds, 30 bucks on Amazon, simple tripod, and you can get this little adapter that'll essentially clip onto your smartphone. It will clip on the top and clip on the bottom, and that'll allow you to set your, your uh, smartphone on top of the tripod. And then you can be talking to the camera and actually use your, your hands and you've got the still uh, frame, all right? So that's my anti-lame checklist. If you follow this, your videos will not be lame. You don't need the fancy pants stuff here. It's lighting audio, a good message, and that message executed correctly. And that will allow you to, to create some really, really amazing video ads that get you great results. And like I said, we've spent a million dollars, well over a million dollars now promoting video ads. And we have found that some of the simple ones just on my phone work the best as long as they fulfill on those four things. So anyway, that's pretty much it for this video and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, then do me a favor, go ahead and scroll down, hit the like button on this video and leave me a comment. Myself and my team, we love looking through uh, your comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you're notified when we put out more videos just like this one. And also have a look around my channel here, right? We've got tons and tons of content on here about this, this kind of stuff. And if you found this one helpful, there's a ton of other stuff you'll like. And finally, if you'd like some in-depth training from me, I'll leave a link in the description box to a free online training that I've got for you uh, that, that dives into this stuff in extensive detail. I'll show you how to use video ads specifically on YouTube to get some phenomenal results for your business. So that free training is linked in the description. That's pretty much it. I appreciate you and I'll see you in a future video.